Hello and welcome back to Europa. I'm Mick, we're playing Station Ears. Right, the storm is over. We're back for another go at our modded nutrition survival on Europa. Now, we did manage to get our furnace up and running last time. Still got to take a bit of time to, to warm up, but um, uh, it's going. We've got all the super alloys we want. We've got our sensor glasses. We're good to go. I've just picked me pumpkins, so we're good to plant some more stuff now. Uh, 12 percent I'd better eat them I think you can actually get a fair bit of nutrition out of a pumpkin when it's just raw so I'll just eat them raw and I'll eat them through my face plate by the looks of it yummy yummy I can squish them through the breathing grill uh, um, no potatoes um, no, no tomatoes okay so just pumpkins for dinner then Fine, I can handle that. Uh, here we go, 26%. Yup. <sighs> Some more pumpkins, I'll hit the spot. And put them away. Right, now I did actually find out, you can have a comment there in the from the last time that we can actually mulch the seeds to get our, to get our, our, our fertilizer. I've been not picking the seeds because I had so many of them and sacrificing food to actually get the get the fertilizer when I could have just been mulching the seeds um, and eating the food well there you go learn something new all the time don't you uh, but anyway I'll be able to do that from now on because I generally get more seeds than I ever need and um, and uh, I need food 26% we'll be fine we'll be fine um, I might want to put that outside so I can can stuff a bit easier uh, oh you want water um, you yeah. I'll better find water easily now I've got my sensor lenses I shall be able to dig that out not a problem but we've got our furnace up and running. We need to look at a bit more power. So we've made a start on the Sterling generator. So we shall get that there. I have been relying on coal for a little bit longer than I should have been. But I think it'd be furnace up. So that's uh, that's that's worth it. And right. Now I'm still got. Uh, I need to put more coal in there as well. I need to get more coal. Um, Oops, need to close that, lock that. Um, here we go, I have got potatoes. Uh, I might even put them in for food. Right, now, learn which buttons they are. Top one on this side. Easy. And probably start thinking a bit more about what this final base is going to look like. Um, so what's the plan for that one? Well, that's probably pretty much all I had planned. Rocket goes here and um, we're just going to build around it. Uh, stage one, the furnace is done. Now, you. I need electronic parts. Uh, and some frames and some bits and pieces. Ah, I think I'm going to put a frame there because that's just really annoying now. Um... That's a table. Did I have frames? I've forgotten now. Plastic sheets. No. Okay, so I need some frames. I can get you from here. Steel frames. Uh, see if I had some steel, I guess. Some iron. Steel. No, no. Okay, well that is easy fixed. Okay, well, it's one coal, sixteen coal, fifty coal. There we go. So I might fall off there yet again. You can have the forty-nine. Oops, lousy yeet. Better yeet. Oh, that went all the way in. 
Okay, so I might just go mine some coal. But, um, you should use some steel. Uh, we can have one. Oops, close him up. And when you're ready, two. I should probably make some more mining belts. I'll be able to carry some more stuff. I got so excited that I got the first mining belt, I forgot to build a heap more. Yeah, come on, work. And that should be steel. Bingo. Now, a frame's good to that. And you still haven't got an upgrade. So, I shall need pipes, vents, what do you got? Steel. Okay, make me some pipes. Yep. Um. <coughs> now, you. Mining belt. S steel. <laughs> ah, you got steel. Right. Well, that was the other one I wanted, wasn't it? Constantine and steel. You and you. Give me two of them, that'll do. Oh, one gold. Awesome. Uh, you get your pipes. Take them. You get your frames. I'll take them. Uh, steel sheets. I'll take them. Now, let's put in this frame. Take you with the welder. Gotcha. Uh, you, you. Come in there now. I need plastic sheets, glass sheets, uh, electronic parts. Um, I need to put down some vents. Need some iron sheets. Uh, iron she sheets, a whole one. And maybe one more. Gotcha, and one more of them. Right, sheets. Um, okay, thank you. And power. Oh, yes. Come here, power. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Won't have to deal with you again for a while now. Uh, right, so I was after plastic sheets, which I have there, and glass sheets, which I have there. And that's not enough. Um, but it's a start. All right. If we got a room that's a bit bigger than just the one cell there, it provides a bit more of a, a thermal mass of the air in here so as we can get it a little bit more stable. Um, so that's that all done. We need electronic parts. Um, and some glass. And probably some logic chips. And um, it did go dark. I remember that now. Grab you. Another one of them. Right, that's better. Um, right, so you're done. Need more glass. I'll grab some vents. 
uh, and a digital valve. Hopefully, digital valve and some vents will be enough. Um, uh, grab four of them, five of them. The electronic parts, gold, iron, and copper. Right, well, there's some gold. And copper. That's one. Oh, five of them. Gold. Uh, iron. And copper. Two of them would be lovely. And, and two. Uh, valve. Steel. Yeah, you need to steal. Um, Alright. Oh, that's right, I used all the steel, didn't I? Um, you. Uh, so, how about... I split that steel. Um, that was for you. One of them. And you can have that back. Now, I shall need a hydrogen tank. I have hydrogen over here. I shall change you to a volume pump. Um, get rid of you. So I'll need a... I'll steal that back. Because I want steel. Um, now, right, I had my vents, I had my pipes, so if I place vents around, around the room, um, I just need to put in one in each corner of the room, that'll stop us getting any hot pockets in any corner of the room, and Make it a bit easier for us to regulate the temperature. Uh, so the plan from there, uh, oops, will be to just take it via a digital valve to a frame outside, and I don't have the. Damn it. Right, iron sheets again. Need some more pipes and some glass. Right, now you have my valve. And get rid of that. Uh, you have my electronic parts. You have my steel sheets. You need to make more pipes. And you can. Good. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, you. Put you say there. If I put my digital valve there, hopefully all I will have to do is open that valve to connect this to the cold. And that will be enough to keep the room cool. Well, I guess we'll find out. I also need a heap of pipes to hook that up over to the hot section there. Okay, so I need a lot more pipes. A lot, a lot, a lot more pipes. Um, we're getting there. So a tank full of hydrogen, so I need the volume pump. Uh, as soon as you're done there. Uh, you, I shall want... 
Uh, logic. Do we have any of them? I do not. Uh, right, so I'll need two of them. A compare, a sensor, and a memory. And two of them. Uh, you had that. I wanted a volume pump. And some copper. Nickel. Copper. Um, right. So I'll take one of them. Uh, you shall need some glass. That's a silicon. Yep, grab a bigger stack than that. You are still good for silicon. Um, right, and a lot of pipes. A lot, a lot, a lot of pipes. So, make me some glass. Uh, you had that. Uh, that way. Now I'll turn you around and pinch you. If I steal you, turn you around. I can steal you. Put you on there. I shall need a tank. Uh, canister. One of them will do. Don't kill me when you come out. And, oh, gotcha. Now, this one here I shall want. Oh, okay, you finished. I was going to come over here and stop you from printing them all, but uh, that's good, good enough too. Um, now, I shall want between 1 and 2 megapascals in there. That is between 1 and 2 megapascals when it is warm. So, oh, so I shall want some new batteries. It would be nice. We'll get there. Um, right, so that is minus 149. So by the time it warms up, it's going to pretty much double in temperature, double in pressure. So if I put uh, 500 kilopascals in there, that should be uh, pretty good. Um, right. If I have 500 kilopascals, now oh, we should be right. 300, 400, and we're done. Good o. Now that, by the time it heats up, it should be enough for us. Of course, we shall paint it red because it's hydrogen. Because of course things don't work if you don't paint them. That's just ridiculous. Okay, now my pipes. Uh, yep. Yep. Right, so you're hooked up. You will need to come down to uh, more pipes. Um, so you're hooked up, so I'll need power into you. I'll probably need a data connection. Over there as well. Um, hmm. Uh, put that away. Right. Now, more pipes. You need more pipes. We need more silicon, wasn't it? Yeah. I can do more silicon. We've got to put pipes all the way across the top over to the heater. And the heater is 700 degrees. That'll keep us going for a little while. Right. Uh, what are we making? Pipes. Right. I want one of them. Uh, oh, logic processor. One of them. 
And a sensor. Um, good. You, you, you. I thought I said put that away. Class, I want you. We're finished with you. We're finished with you. We're finished with. Um, you're making pipes. Good on you. Now, I shall need my sensor, which I left in the uh, printer. So we shall set, once again, just set up the same sort of temperature sensor we set up in the greenhouse over there. Um, so, oops, that's not a one of them. So if we set you there, I shall set up a logic reader. That light makes it a bit hard to see. Uh, I shall set up a logic compare. So I can compare the temperature to a set value, which will be the memory. And the output can be written back into the um, logic writer. There we go. Turn you around that way. That can be written back into the valve. So I want to connect you to there. You to there, you to there, you to there. Output goes into that. The output of that one will go back to the digital valve. Now we've also got to connect power to this, but it's a lot easier to hook up before we do that. So if that comes in from the sensor, we read the temperature, compare that with the memory. The memory we shall set to, oops, positive, say 27 degrees. Oh maybe 17 and we compare we want that to open when the temperature is greater than that Boop. Down in from the logic compare out to the digital valve setting on right uh, now I just better cabling them together now I can just easily Go across them now, doesn't matter. And you get that straight, and you need a power. You will need a power. Um, yeah. That way. Um, I need to connect to there. That'll do us. Um, right. So it's cabled up. So need the. Oops. <laughs> That's not how the door works. Um, wow. Well, you, you're still going. Okay. Well, we got plenty of pipes. I wanted plenty of pipes, so that's gone perfectly to plan. Um, now, did I have some heavy cables left? I do. All four of them. That's right, four is more than not four. Uh, so, that's got to go to uh, there. Um, oh, uh, yep, that'll do. So, this I can connect to there in the ugliest way possible. Um, I can go yeah, no. Um, yeah, we can manage that. So you will go that way. I'll just loop this around, connect the input and the output. And just connect the whole lot. I mean, it won't vent the gas as it uses it, so the whole lot will just slowly cool down and uh, eventually be no good. So I'll have to come and manually vent it all once we're done with it all. And over there. Yeah. 
Right. Uh, so, cabling. We're hooking you up. And there, there. And come on. There. So that should now have power from over there. Which we do have. See, we're on. It is not hot in here. Well, duh. And that switches that off. It's not connected. But that's okay. We can fix that. Yep. You. 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 Done. So all the vents are hooked up. All the cables hooked up. Logic's hooked up. Just need some windows. Need to hook up the main power. Um, Look up YouTube. Over here. That's our heater just there. Boom, we are connected. We have hot gas in there at 10 megapascals. That will get us a bit of power. Now. Ah! That's right, there's no windows in there. I might want to raise that up as well so I can still chuck some coal in there when I need to. Which reminds me, I better go get some more, hadn't I? Uh, inlet. There we go. Get you up there. Now, I need a chute, a whole one. And I can do that. One of them. Ah, the glass I had to put up. Okay, heavy cables, that's what I wanted. Um, <clears throat> right. Cables, you lot. I can make a fair few of them. That's good. Now, I might, while I'm making them, do I have any coal? I do not have any coal. I shall go get some coal. And here comes the sun. I might chuck this oxide in the furnace to give it a chance to process that before we go much further. Switch you on. You're switched off. If I turn you down to Electrum, that'll make you vent everything. I've only got two megapascals in the cold. The hot one's all ready to go. But that should get us something to... Something for the cold tank to process. I might want to put bigger radiators on it. Two of them's going very, very slowly. So I might want to enlarge that. Uh, but you're done, so I shall switch you back off again. Now, my coal. From memory, big patch of coal just here. And I can switch on my new lenses. Do oh, yep, heaps of coal. Heaps of coal. I've been working in the coal mine just like a six year old. <laughs> ah, the good old days. Right. 
Now, oh, switch him off so I can see what I'm doing. Now, you. That's them. You. Oh, you are hungry. There we go. You're fully stacked. Um, now, where are my cables? That's probably more than I wanted, but uh, it's not like they're going to go to sh gonna go unused at any point now, is it? Um, you. Whoops, I already had it open. Yep. 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 Boop, 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 boop. Boom. Now. I think that is everything. All we need is some windows. over that yeah and right now um, chuff 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 we go so it's minus 142 degrees in here and 41 and 40 sweet of course, the uh, pressure is going to go up in there as as it uh, heats up everything. Now, do I have a configuration card? Configuration. There we go. If I have some copper, um, then I can make copper. That's all right. Now I'll be able to see how much this is putting out. I can put a controller inside as well. I could probably even put it onto the chip there if I still had some pins left. I can't remember. Right, oh, yep, more of them. Lovely. One of them. Now. Here we go. Oh, looks like we're going faster. Uh, Right, we have 3.7 kilowatts, 3.8 kilowatts, 3.9 kilowatts, so it's actually going up now. Pressure is up to 2 megapascals. And we're going good. Don't explode. 4.3 kilowatts, 4.4, up to minus 93 degrees in here. Wow, this is kicking ass. Uh, and it should be hooked up to that. Oh, cool. Um, well, it's running. It's happy. Doesn't look like it's going to explode. That's always a bonus. Still going up 4.7 kilowatts. Um, so I shall put some stuff inside. Now hopefully that cooling system's enough to keep it, uh, stop it from overheating in there. We'll see how we go. Uh, so I shall want you. Um, do you want anything else? That'll do us. Oh, I do have a network analyzer. Let's grab that as well. Ah, uh, it's the bottom one on that side. Ah, look at that. Monkey's learning new tricks. And open door. Right. 
Good. Did I, I did play punk and so I've not done anything. Near potatoes. Near potatoes. Nada. Nothing. Right. Uh, let's have a look at you. Did I have a spare pin? No. Well, ass. Um, I need the battery. Oh, I could batch command it, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think we'll have to batch command it. We've only, only got one sterling generator. Um, so, I grab you. Nothing was switched on then when I pulled it out. That's all right. Um, so, Import that one. Right, so we shall have to define yep, sterling yep, search um, Get Sterling Engine of I Sterling S T I R. Nice spelling. Right, you S T I R. You fool. Right, so now we should want to do the same thing down here that we did there. So we shall uh, save batch. T I R Sterling on one and save batch S T I R Sterling Oops off third time lucky now same thing again V and copy V so branch relative greater than so I'll say if it's greater than 0.3, switch on. If it's less than 0.8, switch off. So it should always switch this one on before it goes to the coal generator. So as long as the Sterling engine's running, the coal engine shouldn't run at all. Uh, export. Um, right, so, is it switched on? I don't know. But I have one of them. Now we have a fuel, solid fuel generator is off. Um, where are we? Sterling? You'll be there somewhere. Oh, you're right there. Off. Okay, so we're off. That's good. Because the battery is... About... Above 80%. Where are we? Ratio. Yes. Right. That's 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 what it's meant to be doing. I'll take that as a good thing. Uh, you can go there. Right. So, Sterling engine is running. It will power this battery. If the Sterling engine runs out of heat, um, it will switch back to the coal engine. Excellent. That's what we wanted. So power is a little, a little bit better off. Do as you're told. Um, right. So now I still need uh, food. Do I have food? Not much. 
some more ways some oh, potatoes. Yummy nums. I should probably make some more fertilizer uh, before planting some of you lot. Well, I can plant some of them. Potato seeds, potatoes. Uh, more potatoes. And more potatoes. And we're good. Now, I have got a heap of tomato seeds. And quite a few potato ones as well. So I shall mulch maybe three stacks of them. That'll get me ten fertilizer. And that'll be enough to fill all those holes. So which means I can eat the potatoes. Um, so potato seeds. A stack of ten. Seven of them. Ten. 10 and 10 of them right uh, make some poop uh, top one ah. <laughs> right now you have nothing And I can go one, two, and three. There you go. And that's 30 items there. Ha <laughs> ha, sweet. So that'll be 10 lots of fertilizer. And I shall be able to get some shit happening. Right. Now, um, what was next on the list? Put you back where you meant to be. Put you back where you meant to be. I'll take a chew for you. Right. Uh, now, um, where are we? Frames. I did have a heap of frames. Um, didn't I? These walls. Ooh. Walls. Walls, iron walls. Have some of them. Uh, you. Also, I'll take the steel sheets, iron wall frames. There you are. All right. Now, make me some more frames. Oh, ah. ah, it's nice to have the power done, isn't it? Now, um, right. So the base rocket's going to be here. And I would just like to build basically a big ring all the way around. So we're going to build up something like something like this. And we'll be good. Yeah, I can't do that. You're in there. Um. Oh, that's all the sheets I've got. So, um, probably need to have another way to walk around it, won't we? Get back in your place. Um, and that's all of them I've got as well. That wasn't the biggest building spree I've ever done. Um, so, some more iron sheets, more frames. Uh, go for it. Um, we need some more steel. Some windows might be handy. They're walls. Yes, walls. 
Yeah, because I could probably... Now yeah, that I've got the furnace over there, I can probably almost enclose it. Get that roof on. And I could have a weather weatherproof place over here. And I can stop putting everything away in the bloody shelves. Just chuck it on the floor like a normal person. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's, that's all of them. Okay. Put in a window there so we can see the sunrise. Um... Door, I'll put a door in there. Uh, you go there, you go there. Then I'll probably put my printers over here. And I'll have the furnace and the printers all close together, and that'll just be super handy. Uh, so, put you. So I'll need a door. Need two doors. Need some more frames. I'll eventually move my printers up here. Probably move the tool printer up here. I'm done with that one just about. I still need me telling me stuff. And <laughs> I want you all over the place there. Uh, more frames. Whoops, that one. Uh, yep. Right, now, I could probably put something up on the top of this as well. I probably need a way to get up there too, won't I? I probably need a way to get up into this room as well. Uh, there we go, done. There we are. So, this will be my rocket. This is where it will take off. This is where it will probably scare the crap out of me every time it does that. Um, so if it's facing that way, I'll probably need a shaft there to... Batteries. go there. Probably need a shaft in there so as I can I've got somewhere to run all the services down the chutes, the pipes, the etc 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 and they're good and you're all out of steel lovely that didn't last long um that's in the wrong place. That's too close, isn't it? So, I'll need to move you out of the way. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, I could probably put another room on this side, like I did over there. Uh, now, nope. Um... Okay. You get out of the way, you get out of the way, you get out of the way. And you get out of the way. Now. You. And. Grinder. Oh, I see poop. Nine to go. Seven in my hand. That's good. Poop in the hand is worth two in the bush. Uh, right. Now, welder. I think you were just about dead, weren't you? And... One more. 
And you're dead. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, right. Now. So I shall need a battery. I've run out again. Right, so what are we going to need? Um, so we're going to clear out all of this stuff on the bottom floor, so everything will be uh, sort of aim. You'll have free range around the whole place when I've got air up and running. And um, so, what else will I need? I'll need power. If I'm building a rocket, I'll need a fuel a fuel manufacturing area so all the sorting for ingots and everything down there like all the ice will go downstairs to uh, get crushed and turn into fuel so I'll put a fuel depot downstairs um, if I have a gas fuel generator I want fuel upstairs um, uh, let's so I'll need an atmospherics plant um, Grab one of you. I shall need my fuel depot. I shall need somewhere for the rocket. I shall need the gas generator. Uh, gas fuel generator. Iron. Uh, you'll do. And I shall need more frames. I shall need a greenhouse. I'll probably build another greenhouse with a heap of Harveys out on top of uh, that one over there. Um, so an atmospheric slab. I could put that probably here. I only need a few tanks. So I just need breathing oxygen. Well, I want. So I want nitrogen, just so I like having a nitrogen oxygen atmosphere. I want carbon dioxide, of course. Um, do I need to keep oxygen? I mean, I've got a whole planet full of oxygen. Do I want to keep warm oxygen for atmospherics? I probably will. I'll need a hot tank. Um, I need a fuel tank. I need a hydrogen tank. Uh, I need a fuel mixing area. Uh, I'll need a mixer. Um, let's be gas generator. You're coming. Uh, I'll need somewhere to fly me a little rocket control area. Um, what else are we after? Uh, so a fuel tank won't need to be insulated, will it? We want that to stay cold. Um, Right, now, gas generator. Uh, if I have a frame there, put a gas generator there. Batteries, that's not going to give me much room for batteries, is it? Uh, okay, well, I only need one battery. Because this thing will just be powering it up. Unless it runs out of fuel and I want to be doing an emergency. Um, um, arguments. Well, if I control the rocket from here, I can put the gas generator here. Oop, turn it around. There. So if that's a wall, dividing wall to this room. I can put batteries there. I'll be able to fit three batteries in there. And uh, that should be enough. So my greenhouse will go out there. There'll be plenty of room out there. And, oh, yapes. And um, where are you? There you are. Uh, yeah. 
Come on, come on. Oh, I haven't got that hooked up, have I? Well, that was a waste. Um, anyway. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't throw the drill away, throw the tape away. Oh, shit, where'd that go? Um, <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Holy shit, where'd that go? You idiot. Um, I might have to get myself a new drill. <laughs> uh, oops. Uh, yep. Book eight, that's gone. <laughs> oh, what a dumbass. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, maybe a drill. Oh, I'm sure it'll turn up. What have we got iron and copper? Ah, dear. Um, yeah, don't throw your drill away. That's not helpful at all. <laughs> ah. See, that's what you get for being a, a compulsive litterer. Um, oh, poop. Um, so I'll be able to get that. I'll be able to play that. Ah, oh, no. Right. Drill, don't throw it away. You idiot. <laughs> um, Right, now yeah, can I make some batteries? Uh, I can make them. Chomney. Uh, Here we go, what do you need? Something special? No! Well, I'll take you then. Ah, if I've got some golden steel. Uh, you hot enough for steel. You are still hot enough for steel. Do I have the stuff for steel? No. Right, I'll go get some stuff for steel. Uh, but you, in the meantime, charge up in here. Oh. And I'll probably want you in the drill that I just threw away. Uh, right. Mining. Right. Um, still got some gold under there I can go get. Um, get some more tape. Switch off those glasses. That's better. Um, now, give myself some more tape. That's the rubbish one that I was trying to throw away and got wrong. Thank you. Now, we wanted steel. Uh, you're still good for steel. The one. There we go. Two. Three. Um. Oh. I just saw that switch on and off. Actually working. Oh, cool. So that's holding its temperature. Uh, it's switching on and off. It's not just switching on and staying on. So that means it is actually working. And it's shut down. Okay. Okay, yep. It is working. How is the temperature in there going? Uh, do I configuration. Where's my atmospherics gone? There it is. 
Now, our heater is down 613. That's still holding up all right. So I think it was 700, I think, when we first hooked it up. So it's lost 100 degrees, but that's, that's still pretty good. So that'll keep us in power for a while. Uh, now, you... One of them, and for more batteries. Oh, and I'll probably want a, um, a beacon a solder. It'll do us. And, right, some batteries. I'll take them for uh, copper. Right, um, well, if I hook it up on that side of the power, I've just shut off my printer, it's printing me batteries, haven't I? That's excellent, excellent, well done. Um, put my beacon there. We, uh, Um, I can put you there. Uh, that's the data, that's the power. Put you on. Beacon. You can go there. Good. Uh, now what else do we have? You were making batteries. You know, I was making copper. I remember now. Ah, uh, there we go. So that's you. And you are for me. Oh, and me poop. Now, I can put you into there. And you will be always charged up. You put you the welder. Ooh, let's try you first. There, yeah, yep, you're a little power cell. Um, you can go over there. Uh, what of you? You're out of power. Uh, you can probably go over there too. Um, look at them all charging up. So I'm pretty much only using my tools when I'm around base, so uh, having them all just charge up when I'm around base will be very handy. Uh, uh, I'm losing 69, that's a shame. Um, now, you've got one. you got one. You... Yeah, I'll give you one. I won't throw you away, though. Oh, yeah, here we go. You can go away. And that's all I'm going to get. I need more copper. More copper. It's worth it. Um, there we go. That is so cool. They are charging up. Um, then what else do I have batteries in? My suit, my glasses, all my light. Oh yes. I'll take one of them. Um, what else we got? Is that all? Oh, mining drill. Eat. Uh, who are you? Oh, you like well I use you away from base so I might keep you in the in with one of them so you're set up you're set up you're good um, my tape my lights done we're all good excellent that's power taken care of this thing is awesome uh, right uh, put machines done. Um, I wanted, um, 
I'm not doing tanks. I have a tank. I have a tank. Um, right. Well, I've now. I can put in. So I'm making a fuel system. Well, if I gas fuel generator will want fuel, the rocket will want fuel. If I can actually make the fuel um, over here somewhere in the room that sits on this side, I could probably put the uh, atmospherics. So that makes me fuel mixer. There it is. Put a fuel mixer in there. My atmospherics can go over there. I'll make this room a bit bigger. Um, So, yeah, this will be my power generation. This can be my fuel mixer. Uh, this can be my rocket controller here. That'll be my rocket. Um, I'll bring my printers inside. And that's a bit of a plan, isn't it? I'll have to clean up everything from the bottom. I could probably maybe put my boot machine up the top there and um, see how we go. We have a plan, um, but I need a lot more materials to make that plan work. Uh, so I'll need to dig out all of that, burn a heap more crap, and um, we'll get going. So I'll need the fuel mixer before I can make the fuel, the fuel generator. I'll need the fuel mixer before the rocket. Um, I could probably hook fuel straight into the furnace. I don't really need... Although that does have oxygen and hydrogen coming in. I have to run the hydrogen over here. I can run it on fuel. All I do is take out the mixer and replace it with a volume pump. But this is set up to mix fuel depending on the oxygen that's in there. Because this, well, I don't need to conserve oxygen. I've got a planet of oxygen. It won't matter if I just blow oxygen straight, hot oxygen straight to the furnace. So if I'm getting oxygen from the atmosphere, blowing in a mixed oxygen fuel mix, I just need to conserve the hydrogen because I've got surplus oxygen here. Yeah, so I don't need to run hydrogen over there. I can get rid of the hydrogen, replace it burner with a fuel burner. I don't need the mixer. So if I make fuel here, I can run it to you, run it to the rocket, run over the furnace. So I've just got to run the pipe around here. So the hydrogen, I can get oxygen from the air. If I put in a hydrogen tank. Um, I can put a heater as well. If I take that furnace out from down the bottom there, I take this furnace out. Now that I've got a melting furnace for making stuff there. I can take this furnace out and make it into a dedicated heater. So I want to remove everything through here. So if I pull that out, uh, maybe bring it up into here. I can make a heater. So I'll put a tank for hydrogen, tank for fuel, and a tank for a heater. A hot tank right next to the fuel tank. That's always a good idea. Health and safety. Good -o. Um So I'll need to make the fuel. Then I can make the generator. Then I'll have all the power I need to build a rocket. Build a rocket controller. And um, then all my basic needs will be taken care of. Then I've just got to get some uh, food growing. I'll put up a heap of Harveys. Make a greenhouse. And uh, we'll be set. Uh, bottom one. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. Uh, I hope I got still, still no tomatoes. Right. Come on, boop. Grow me some pumpkins. And you. And you. And you. And throw it at the wall. <laughs> Child. Uh, tomatoes.
Ah, oh, more seeds. Yep. That'll make up for the ones I just crushed. Um, planting them. Pumpkins. Yeah, good eating. Um, what do we have there? Potatoes. Ah, oh, put in some corn. Gotta vary your diet. Don't want scurvy. And seeds. And your pumpkins, your potatoes. Uh, you're not planted. And you. Uh, what are we planting? Potatoes there. We're good to go. Now, time to eat some potatoes. <laughs> eat 30 of them. Okay, this might take a little while. I'm not going to need a drink to wash these ones down. Better go get some water too. Oh, floor potatoes, yummy. Excuse me. <gasps> um, wow, that's embarrassing. Uh, right, um, so we have done a bit, well, a lot of faffing around today, wasn't it really? We have got our backup power, we've got a sterling generator is going. We have placed a buttload of frames around to try and get a base. We've got a bit of a plan going for what we're going to build. Now we're just going to build the bloody thing. So, um, but that'll do us for today. So, until next time, happy building. See ya. <laughs>